Lamar Stevens, one of the co-founders of OMI, Opera Managers Association International. I'm here this morning with Mark Mezzi and Natalia Neumann, two co-founders of the organization as well. Yes, hello, good morning. I'm from Belgium uh, and I started my agency 30 years ago about in, in Brussels and then I moved to Madrid 20 years ago. Really what brings me to the opera world is my passion for uh, the voice. Perhaps because I'm, com I'm coming from a, a, a small country like Belgium, but very international. We are all speaking every, uh, three at least languages and we are obliged to travel from the beginning if you want to to work in any career, you know, uh, Belgium is so close in one hour, you are in Holland, in Germany, in, in France. So uh, travel for us is quite uh, usual. And Luxembourg, yes. <laughs> I guess I was born into it. And uh, what was a summer job became uh, a calling, a passion. Um, I was always in the opera world, always. Well, um, Impresario was founded in 2014, but before that I had another agency and uh, have been in the business since 2004. Um, well, genetically speaking, I'm Armenian. Mm -hmm. Passport-wise, I'm from Belarus and Luxembourg. I grew up in Odessa, Minsk, uh, Lausanne, uh, Hamburg, London, Sacramento, uh, what else? Ah, Trier. And uh, now I'm in Munich. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I think you are an example of how international our field is. And that's the nature of our business as well. Um, I'm American and uh, grew up in Minneapolis. And then I lived in Germany for 32 years. Yeah. 32 yeah. years. 32 years, yes. And that's where I started my first business uh, 25 years ago, uh, of working with singers in Germany. And then in 2008, I moved to New York City. And yes, I have three children in three different countries. So three children in three different countries. My, my twin boys, one of them is in Stockholm, the other is in Munich, and my daughter is in Minneapolis. Oh, we, we are really international, and only this chat is between, uh, uh, is including a lot of nationalities and countries. We are not always seen as the, uh, the good guys. We are receiving a lot of pressure from artists from theater. But actually, I think that we are quite good persons <laughs> mm -hmm. and, 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 and how would you say that? Educated person also, you know, from a lot of countries. So we can cope with a lot of local uh, mentalities. Tell us how you, how you got involved in OMI. Well, just uh, uh, at the beginning of this crisis, when uh, the, the manager uh, started to speak together, what never happened before. I was in touch. I was uh, looking at... Facebook and so I saw this group starting and I called some colleagues with my experience in other organization uh, the opera world opera manager were not really the center so we were a little bit lost in space and uh, to have a real organization focused on our job with only opera managers was for me an argument to join and to, to, to promote and to try to set up on my with my, my efforts and my time. Uh, well, I think I was there from the very, very start when started the whole opera manager's talks, mm -hmm. COVID-related opera manager's talks. Yeah, I'm happy that I'm a part of it because I think we're going to do great things together. I have the feeling that OMAI is really going to work on the main issues such as togetherness, something that opera managers never really had. It's um, a unity which uh, we really need and I've honestly already noticed a huge improvement. Transparency, definitely, something that is um, very important in our field. And this is something that OMI oh can really create and achieve. Only to add perhaps that uh, OMI oh is starting a project and we should see it on a very long term because the things are very slow to, to move. Uh, our uh, uh, business is very conservative in its rules and we will not uh, obtain what, all what we aim to do. We will not do everything in one month or in one year. So let's think about the situation in five, ten years and we will see that OMAI was probably a, a good decision. Well, the short-term issues are obviously COVID-related. 
basically getting our artists at least some compensation and um, to our artists to improve the situation for all artists. Mark is absolutely right. We're talking about long-term goals, but I'm pretty sure and that we will be able to achieve those goals even sooner. Uh, one of our goals is also to try to, to push and to make lobby to the politicians to have another point of view on our business. I'm not speaking only about the opera, culture in general, but they, they receive pressure constantly from all, all the past. It makes a difference between uh, with other association of manager uh, is that we want to the people to know what we are doing. This is really why I'm in this uh, communication committee, because we all have a lot of work. Uh, we have different committees and uh, everybody is giving the, the, his best in, in the committee way. We're working hard, all of us, and mm -hmm. we are all bringing a part of our soul into this whole thing because uh, it's something we really care about. Of course, we are funding uh, members and uh, we are in this uh, communication committee. But uh, the, these committees are absolutely open to all the new members. So it means that it's not uh, OMI or the founders working for OMI and the members. No, the members are immediately invited to, to be active. Now it's a sort of... I think it's beautiful. We're all together and we're all fighting for the same thing. And this, this is what really makes it work. Because we're all in it for the long term for the long run and and since it's a new completely new project i think this is why it's going to work because everyone is in it with blood with sweat with um reminds me of a song but i don't know which one <laughs> yeah blood sweat and tears <laughs> yes thank you <laughs> so thank you to the two of you and uh, on to good things for oh my thank you Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Io son qui per giudicar. Io da lei sceltavo capo venga a far le sue difese delle legittime pretese che io vi vengo a palesare. Mi guardate, mi guardate! Silenzio, silenzio, silenzio. Io son qui per giudicar. Io come al mondo tanto vengo qui per destino. Non ti credo se matrimonio con questa anzatina d'asta.